Hello everyone, this is Sergio and I've been wanting to make this video um, and we're going to be talking about why I charge for my spiritual services, for my readings, etc. Or why everyone who does this, they, why they charge. And I've been wanting to make this video for a while but I guess I just haven't been fired enough but lately I've been getting messages, people wanting to do stuff for free, just not taking it seriously and if everything is just ha 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 he he. And then once I hit them up with, you know, hey, if you really want to do this, you know, let's go through the actual uh, system that everybody else has to go through. They're like, oh, okay, never mind. Like, they're not taking it seriously, right? So I wanted to talk about why I charge and why anybody that works with energy charge. Because a lot of people have the mentality like, oh, if you have like a spiritual gift and, and it's for, to help people, then it should be for free. And if that was the case, then everything in the world everything spiritual or materialistic would be free because everybody in the world uh physically we all have talents and if that was the case then why is every you know everything not free right uh why are doctors not working for free why are dentists not working for free why are even like customer service people that's a gift working with people and doing that that's a gift so why why are they not working for free so same thing you know it's kind of like the same thing so the first thing that I want to talk to talk about it's the importance of exchange of energy and nothing in the world in the like I said in the materialistic world or in the spiritual world nothing is free if you notice everything has a price physically everything has a price food bills uh, the light water everything has a price every service anything everything has a price right but if you every if you think about it, even spiritually, everything has a price. If you guys uh, remember, like in the uh, first testament of the Bible, um, they used to sacrifice stuff for spiritual exchange, right? Do you guys remember whenever they would like sacrifice? I think it was a goat, if I'm not mistaken, or a sheep. They would always sacrifice some kind of some kind of animal for uh, spiritual spiritual exchange. If you think about like voodoo or if you think about cuban santeria anything like that they always make sacrifices of animals for exchange of uh, energy same thing so nothing is free <laughs> nothing is free it's just a, a change of, of of energy um another big thing that i think is very important to mention that i take very serious it's value of what i offer and how much value you have for the product or the service that you're going to receive from me that's like a big, big thing for me. So if I did, if I did every, if I did my readings for free, I think people would not value my, my, my service. They wouldn't value what I have to say, my words. They would just think everything is a joke because whenever you buy something for free, it doesn't have any value, right? You don't have to exchange. You don't have to make any effort for it. But whenever you pay for something, it hurts a little bit, right? However, whenever you do this exchange, you're expecting, you know, something good to come back. So same thing here. I mean, yeah, I, I do I do have to make money out of this because I have to eat, right? But think that you will get good in return. And and I have to know, you know, if you value this because it kind of weeds out the people that just take it as a joke, you know? Whenever you make a payment, whenever you pay me, then that's whenever I'm like, okay, this person is taking this service seriously. They truly value their future and they want to understand where they are at in their life right now. And my my responsibility or my, um, how can I say it? My compromise is with God and, you know, knowing that I'm doing the right thing, that I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, that I'm going to say exactly everything that is communicated to me, either to Gerald, mentally, um, anything like that. I, that's my, that's my compromise, you know, making sure that I do the right thing and that I communicate the right thing. Your compromise is making sure that, you know, you exchange money for that, th that information that you're going to receive. How much do you value that? You know, how much do you value your peace? How much do you value clarity in your life? How much do you value your future? You know, knowing that you're going to take the right decisions and stuff like that. So it's like the same thing. It's all about how much you value the things that you, um, that you want. And not only with, with readings, like with everything, um, you know, whenever you pay $1 for a burger at McDonald's, you don't really value it because it's just that. You just give it a dollar. It's not even that good. You know, it's just a bite. 
But whenever you pay a meal that is like 60, $100, and you're like, okay, I'm, you value it, you eat all of it and it's good, right? So it's kind of the same thing. It's exchanging energy all the time. Money is energy. People don't see it like that because, you know, it's just green money, paper. But um, if you really think about it, it's an exchange because you work for that money. You put energy into that money, you know, working for it, and now you exchange it. So same thing. Um, and like I said, it, it helped me weed out the people who think it's a joke. Now, it's, and this is why I got all fired up about this whole thing because a couple of days ago, I um, got some messages on, on not MySpace, oh my God, Facebook. And um, they were asking me silly questions, not silly questions, but you know, stuff that they don't take seriously. Like they think that psychic or terror readings is just a joke. Like, haha, like it's just like guessing stuff or it's just like, you know, uh, things just pop out in your head and you know everything we don't know everything like it's a sacrifice you still have to sit down you have to connect with spirit you have to tap into the person's energy you have and then you know once you take out the cards and everything you have to um translate the meanings making sure that it's it's all flowing correctly put everything together into a message and just putting everything together into the head making sure that everything is accurate like it's hard it's not easy it's not like people things just pop up in my head and i can tell you the other day they messaged me on facebook and they were like oh uh, um you know i have a i wanted i saw that you do uh readings like i was curious to know when i'm gonna i'm gonna meet the love of my life and i was like oh okay if you if you know if you want a reading i i have time for this week just go ahead and you know follow these protocols like oh no no i don't really want to you know i didn't want a whole reading i just had one small question and i was like stop like stop there like if you really valued your question or your your incomodidades like how you know how unsure you feel about something you would sacrifice and exchange you know but you don't you don't they didn't as it was just a joke for them and if something is a joke to you i don't want it because i take this stuff very seriously and that's i think that's another reason why i i i, I charge because i want people to know that i take this seriously. this is something i do to help but it's something i do to eat you know i also need to eat and people forget that I'm human. Yeah, I have a gift and everything and I can help you out. And my mission is to to help people, you know, help people with having clarity in their life and having guidance and everything. But I still have to eat. I'm still human. So I'm still made out of bones. I, I still need to eat. I still need to rest. I still need light in my house. I still need money to pay equipment to record on, you know, stuff like that. Like I still have to eat. So I don't take this as a joke and I don't like people that take it to the joke, I actually get very upset when people think, like, tell me, like, ask me silly questions, like, oh, uh, can you tell me this? Should you should know this because you see stuff and you know stuff? No, I don't. I don't know everything. It's just impossible. I'm still human. I'm still limited to what I know and, uh, you know, what I can see. I can only tell you what I see and what I can, you know, force, you know, foreshadow everything. Whenever I do a reading, whenever I connect into your energy and stuff like that, it's not just things popping out and I actually don't want to do that. It gets me so angry. It gets me like fired up when people like ask me about readings or about knowing something whenever I'm not in my working brain. Because to me, readings, everything spiritual to me, it's it's like me in my work mode because this is what I do to survive. This is what I do to eat. So whenever I'm having a conversation with somebody, you know, nicely, friendly conversation and they, they pull up with like oh um can you uh, tap into this and see what i'm gonna no it's we're are we working right now or are we making business right now or making some kind of exchange or are we just having a nice conversation and i feel bad it makes me feel bad because i you know i don't want to seem bitchy or whatever but it's just what it is you know it's like if you talk to somebody about work and they're like trying to stay out of work you know so that's really it i think it's it all comes to how much you value your your uh, life and your clarity and your future and wanting to know everything I think it comes down to that and make sure you respect everybody that does this guys it's not just me we're not trying to be bitchy or you know like you need to make you know pay us or whatever it's it's we just want to be recognized as people of service and people you know pe remind people that we still need to eat <laughs> we still we're still doing a service we still put energy into our readings it rings it's not it's not like things just flow everything you still have to connect everything and really put everything together if you want to give the right information to your client and that's what i want to do at least make sure that the people that pay for my services get the best out of it and you can ask anybody that has worked with me i always try my best to give them clarity and to give them a message and i want all my clients to go with peace like after you have a reading from me i want you to walk out or you know 
get done watching the video that I sent you and say, okay, I'm in peace or okay, I have a, an idea of where I'm going. That's my purpose. That's what I want to do with everything that I do. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to make this video in Spanish because I think a lot of people in the Spanish uh, speaking community, they also do that where they're like, they're just doing the same thing. Like, adivíname esto, adivíname el otro. Like, it doesn't work out like that. <laughs> but that's that guys just wanted to put this out there i hope everybody is doing well i hope you guys enjoy june i think everything it's right now it's everything is crazy but we have, we have to stick together i think this whole year has just been like like draining but god knows why why he does things and stuff like that so stay in peace um and i hope you guys stay well bye, -bye.